Recently, the Pembroke Herring Fisheries Commission held the first annual fisheries festival at Sachem's Point on Furnace Pond. Sachem's Point was a gathering place for Wampanoag Indian chiefs long before Hosey's Restaurant and currently the Lucky Dog were part of the landscape. Current Wampanoags helped with the festivities, showing their crafts and helping to prepare the tasty treats of stuffed cohogs, native herring, and herring roe. The herring steak with some um, veggies, dill, zucchini, some squash, basically just slice it up. I just reach in and just try to pull the whole back bone out. It's got some small little bones in there, but not too much. I just had one. How is it? Good. There's a bone in my mouth. Uh, oh, they are. And it's so moist. So this is me at Plymouth Plantation here. But that's a site that was geez, 15 years ago. One thing we have here is a water drum. Water drum. Okay. And we chose water from the lake here. Um, this is where you put the water, right into here. And we like to match the frequency and the vibration and to uh, give an offering to the water that's in here and connect it to the water close by. Well, you saw them when they were alive. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of our uh, brush trimming. When we're up on the banks, we get some logs in the water. We reach out and grab some of the uh, brush that's fallen in the water. Um, a lot of mostly trimming devices. You see with the chainsaw here. Um, our favorite tool in the herring fisheries probably is the lapis. We use a lot of those. Um, a lot of the smaller brush along the streams. Uh, dinghy. We use that for uh, stringing nets to help the fish not go where they, they shouldn't be. Um, our waders, trusty waders, need those in the river. And also, uh, again, our chainsaws. We have three of them here. Three steel chainsaws. They're, uh, those are try uh, we use those a lot. We get a lot of down branches, down trees that block the stream. We definitely use those quite a bit. Hand saws. Very sharp, very useful. Probably cut a two and a half inch limb and 45 seconds with that. <laughs> Good tools of the trade. Trusty walking sticks. Those are Rick's specialties right there. Those keep us upright in the streams. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for uh, the information. No problem, man. <laughs> Herring are a vital part of our ecosystem, providing food for many species of animals throughout our river system, as well as Cape Cod Bay and the Atlantic That's Ocean. Each year, they return to their spawning ground in Oldham and Furnace Ponds, leaving millions of eggs. The fish then return to the ocean, only to repeat their journey possibly five or more times in their lives. Although the weather was uncooperative, the festival drew in a small crowd of people interested in trying a bit of herring. It has been illegal to catch herring for many years, but this year, Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries authorized Pembroke to catch 75 of the fish to serve at the event. Pembroke's electronic fish counter totaled 484,000 fish this year, topping last year's tally of 338,000. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, their numbers declined drastically, but they have rebounded in our town, due in part to the hard work led by the Pembroke Herring Fisheries Commission, clearing the town's streams of debris. The group plans to make this festival an annual event. Art Edgerton, Pembroke Town News.